Hi there, my name is Felina Hansen. I am on the board of advisors for Startup San Diego, and I'm excited to give you a quick tour of our startup ecosystem resource list. We decided to use a platform called Airtable to create this list for a number of reasons. Number one, it's a place where we can keep things up to date easily and also allows the user to do all kinds of sorting of this particular resource. So what I'm going to suggest you do, because there's a lot of content on here and we can't fit it all on one page. So first off, I suggest you go down and click this view larger version, and that's going to open this into a new tab. So you can get a, a little more full view, although I uh, won't give you the entirety of it, depending on your screen size. I'm working off a sm fairly small screen size, but you get the idea. So the first thing to note is the sector or focus. So these are sorted by resources that are designed specifically for high tech, life science, brick and mortar or service based businesses. Because a lot of, for example, the meetup groups, um, also pitch programs, access to capital, financing, incubators and accelerators, and then entrepreneurial education, co-working spaces, et cetera, are specific to the particular type of business. We've categorized things uh, following those four different categories. So all I'm doing is going in and collapsing all of the resources here and uh, you can get an overview of these categories. And then let's just say I want to find uh, co-working spaces. And I can then sort uh, by a particular uh, focus, uh, high tech, uh, a lot of the co-working spaces outside of Answer Innovation Center are accommodating to most industries, uh, biotech and beyond and bio labs, of course, are life science focused. You can um, read a brief description about each co-working space. You can, of course, click out into onto their website. So just clicked to check out Ivy Street co-working. And the second area I wanna show you is based on stage. Um, I'm gonna to go to a different section and we'll go to incubators and accelerators. And I can sort by, and I can kind of uh, dial into the sorting here, but we'll just keep it simple. Uh, so everything for ideation stage is going to come up first, and then some of the incubators that are a little bit more on the next level side of things uh, are going to show up um, more in the growth stage or rollout stage, etc. For all of the organizations, we have logos when we were able to find them. Uh, so I'll go to a few more categories here. And we can uh, let's keep it sorted the way it is. Uh, so access to capital, again, various stage of development um, based on you know, where you're at in your business. So again, I want to remind you, if you are in idea stage, you don't want to be reaching out to some of these organizations that are uh, focused on either rollout or growth or expansion. So it's really helpful to be able to say, what are all the resources available to me as a high tech company in the ideation phase? And you can sort by that for each of these categories um, and or for all categories if you want to um, change this and expand all of these sections. So that's a quick tour. I will take you back to this page 
and mention if you have any suggested changes or additions to this list, please fill out the form on this page and we will take a look at it and consider adding other resources. If you see yourself on this list and some of the information is wrong, please let us know. Or if we're missing a logo, please let us know where we can find that logo. All of that good stuff. We're open to suggestions. This list will be kept up to date and we are pretty excited about that. There's been a lot of resource lists out there, but unfortunately no one's keeping them up to date. And so therefore they get pretty out of date, <laughs> pretty inaccurate, uh, have an in, inaccurate information on them pretty quickly.